Hi, boys and girls. Everybody have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Everybody have a seat on the floor. Not on the ceiling, not on the door. Everybody have a seat on the floor. Well, it's holiday time. And I don't know what your family celebrates. Maybe it's Christmas. Maybe it's Hanukkah. Maybe it's something else entirely. But we want to wish you a happy holiday. And we're going to read some stories today that illustrate a spirit of kindness and sharing. So let's start with this one, which is a little funny one. Okay. Here is a chimney. And here is the top. When you open it up, out Santa will pop. Well, the first book is about Santa in some ways. Santa with a twist. I hope you enjoy it. Our first book today is called Santa Bruce. It's written by Ryan T. Higgins and it is read for you by permission of Disney Hyperon Press. Oh. Bruce was a bear who did not like the holidays. He used to stay in bed all winter long and skip right through the whole business. But his family wanted to enjoy a cozy, snow-filled Christmas together. So Bruce was awake. This is going to be a great Christmas. No migrating, no hibernating, just family. Honk. Actually, bears don't hibernate. They spend the winter in a state of lethargy. Shh, you're ruining the Christmas spirit. I thought we were spending winter in the state of Maine. The geese had decked the halls. The mice made lots of eggnog. The holiday season was going to be filled with fun and cheer. Bruce did not like fun. Bruce did not like cheer. Bruce did not like fun or cheer. He's got wrapped in with the Christmas tree. Bruce also did not like being cold, which is why he started wearing long underwear and a warm hat. And then it happened again. A mistake, a case of mistaken identity. Are you Santa? Bruce did not like mistaken identities. No, I'm not. Go away. Oh my gosh, I met Santa. Wait right here while I go get my friends. Wait. I'm not Santa. Bruce decided to ignore the problem until it went away. It did not. It got worse. Knock, knock. Knock. Did I hear somebody knock? Who could it be? We should let them in. No, don't open the door. I don't want all their dirty little feet in my... house. Santa! It got worse and worse. Tell them I'm not Santa. Everyone, listen up. Single file. No pushing. Santa Bruce has time to see all of you. Who wants Coco? And worse. Soon word spread. And all the little critters of the forest wanted to visit Santa Bruce. 
to tell him what they wanted for Christmas. I want 99 red balloons for Christmas. Oh, look at its little porcupine. For Christmas, I want world peace. I want a race car. Urgh. I have been very good this year. Can I please have a power compound miter saw for Christmas? Finally, they all went home. Bruce could grumble in peace and quiet, but not for long because all the parents wanted to thank Bruce for his Christmas spirit. Bruce tried to tell them that he didn't have any. Knock, knock, knock. Mm, bah humbug. That's when Thistle made an announcement. Bruce wants to say you're welcome. And what's more, Santa Bruce is going to deliver presents to all of your kids tonight. It's a Christmas miracle. And with that, the parents left, shouting out with glee. Bruce did not like glee. Finally, Bruce headed to bed. The mice had other ideas. But what about getting ready for your big night? Yeah, what about the children? Bruce put his foot down, but the mice were persistent. I am having nothing to do with this. I will not deliver presents. Besides, you don't have a sleigh. Ta-da! Well, you don't have any reindeer. The geese were helpful. Fine, fine, but there are no presents. And everyone was ready. By the way, what's in the boxes? Crackers? I'm still not going. Please, all you have to do is sit in the sled. We'll give you chocolate eggs. Finally, the grumpy old bear agreed to be Santa Bruce for one night, and everyone was very happy. I think we have too much weight in the sled. Is this going to be the best Christmas ever? Well, almost everyone was happy. <sighs> Being Santa Bruce was not an easy job. Uh-oh, he's going down the chimney. Uh-oh, but there was fire in it. He stepped on a train. Hmm, that's not a cookie, that's soap. Munch, 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 munch. Ugh. Mama bunny, papa bunny, baby bunnies, grown-up bunnies who still live with his parents. Hmm. No packages use post office box. And by the time Santa Bruce finally finished, the early morning light was creeping over a white Christmas. As all the little critters of the forest awoke, they found presents waiting for them for Santa Bruce. Crackers! Bruce had spread the spirit of Christmas all over the forest and brought everyone happiness. Merry Christmas, Bruce! Bruce did not like happiness. He liked sleeping. But Bruce's bed would have to wait. I'm sleeping through next Christmas. Let's do this every year. Honk! I hope you enjoyed that book. Well, Bruce, he didn't really want to be Santa, but with the help of his little friends, he ended up being somebody who showed some kindness. I don't know if you know what these are. Probably you do. Candy canes. So let's try this. 
Way up high in the Christmas tree, two little candy canes winking at me. So I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came those candy canes, and they were good. Our second story is about somebody that shows some kindness. One is a little girl, and the other is a wolf. All right, enjoy this. And to everybody, have a very happy holiday. Our second book today is called Wolf in the Snow, and it's written by Matthew Cordell, and it's read for you by permission of Macmillan Publishing. Boys and girls, this is a book that does not have a lot of writing in it. And so you need to look at the pictures to see what's happening. I'll help you as we go along. So take a look at this picture and see who you see in it. I see a dad, a mom, a girl, and a dog. And what's happening outside? That's right, it's snowing. Hmm. The girl is going somewhere and the dog is barking. Bark, bark, bark. Hmm. She's out walking. And these other animals, can you guess what they are? That's right, they're wolves. They're out walking in the snow too. Oh, now we know where she went. She went to school. Looks like it's the end of the day and she's leaving to walk home. But who's still out? Mm. That's right, the wolves. Oh, can you see that it's snowing harder? Looks like it's windy too. Hmm. The wolves are out in the snowstorm too. But look what's getting left behind. A wolf pup. There's the girl. There's the wolf pup. They meet. And she's tired. She's huffing. And the little wolf pup, he's whining. What do you think that girl might be saying to that little wolf pup? Mm. That little wolf pup is still whining. Mm, mm, mm. Huh. He tries to run away, but he gets stuck in the deep snow. She picks him up. He's howling. He's frightened. And from far away we hear other wolves howling. Oh. 
Walk on. You can still hear. Oh! Oh, look at these pictures. She's still carrying the little pup. Oh, through some. Across a little crick. It's protecting the pup from this animal that's growling. There's a screech owl. Wow. They're really in the forest. The howling is getting closer. Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho! <sighs> Uh-oh. Who does she meet? Who do you think that is, boys and girls? Oh, they're looking at each other. What do you think that little wolf pup might be saying? She lets him down. <sniffs> sniff, sniff. Lick, lick. Mm. That girl has walked a long way. How do you think she's feeling right now? So the wolves are back here with the little wolf pup and on she goes. She's got to get home. And from far away she sees some flashlights. The light of some flashlights. And she hears bark, bark. She tries to make it. But she falls down. She's just too tired to go on. Look at who's joining her. That's right, the wolves. And still you see the flashlights and you hear bark, bark. The wolves don't hurt her. They surround her. The little wolf pup licks her. And the wolves sit down and they howl. Ho, 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 ho. Hmm. I wonder if her parents and her dog can hear them. They're headed in that direction. They find her. They find her because the wolves howled and led them right to her. Look at how her dog looks. Oh. How do you think they're feeling now? And the wolves go, ho! <laughs> Looks like dad is carrying her home to mom. Home and safe at last. Hmm. This book shows a little kindness and spirit as well. The little girl was kind to the wolf pup, and then the wolves were kind to the girl. So I hope that you are kind to people that you are around this week, and I hope you enjoy 
spending the holidays with your family. Take care, boys and girls.